on this morning, I just want to uh, give praise and glory to the Lord and call out the body, the body of Christ. For the last week, all we have heard is coronavirus, coronavirus. I stand on the word of the most high creator, God. The word become flesh. Joshua 1 verse 9 says, have I not commanded you? Be of a strong heart and good courage. Do not be discouraged. Do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. He has made us the head and not the tail. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff comfort me. My God, my Father, my Heavenly Father, the lover of my soul, is bigger than any virus, than any addiction, than any situation, any circumstance that the enemy can throw at us. Put on the armor of God and walk in the power and authority that the life, death, burial, and resurrection of Yahusha, Jesus of Nazareth, gave us. The Bible says life and death is in the power of the tongue. And those who love it will eat its fruit. Trust me, I am witness. In my past, I have said things that I didn't realize what I was saying at the time, and they come back to haunt me. Speak life. The enemy, the adversary, the devil roars about, roams about like a roaring lion, seeking who he may devour. And how does he devour? Through the mind. If he can get your mind on things that are not of God, take them off of God, off of his living, powerful words, sharper than any double-edged sword, and put it on something that is not of God and spread fear. Gotcha. But the Father has not given us the spirit of fear, but one of power, of love, and of a sound mind. The power of the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh, the love of the Father in Christ Jesus, and a sound mind of the believer. Where is our faith? Yeshua asked, when the Son of Man comes back to earth, will I find faith? Is the Father going to find faith? As he searches all the hearts of all the men and women on the face of the earth. Is he going to find faith or is he going to find fear? Is he going to find belief standing on his word? Or is he going to find a bunch of scared mice running around in this, in this test tube? Come on, y'all. For real. The God that I serve, the God that I know that I pray to, that I fast for, it's bigger than anything. And the Bible tell, he tells us, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, nor has it ever entered into the mind of man the things the Lord has prepared for those who love him. And he said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. So my, So if he says, have I not commanded you? I command you to be of a strong heart. Be of strong courage. Do not be discouraged. Do not be dismayed. We have been given the power to tread on serpents and scorpions. Not the power to crawl up in the corner like a yellow belly, jelly spine unbeliever. Shook and sh sh shivering in their boots. That's not the body of Christ. The body of Christ is the body of Christ. Christ is the head. We are the body. The body moves with the mind of Christ. 
We have to put on the full armor of the Lord Yahuwah. Come on. Perfect love cast out fear. And the weapons of our warfare, according to 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 4, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the most high and pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of the most high and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. That does not sound like cowardice to me. That sounds like power and authority. Let's stand on John 14 and 12. Do not marvel at these things that I do, for you will do these things and even greater things. I bind the spirit of fear in the name of Yahusha HaMashiach. I bind every spirit of infirmity, every spirit of depression, every spirit of mental illness, every spirit of addiction, every spirit of poverty, every spirit of death, every spirit of, of oppression. I bind you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth by the power of his blood shed on Calvary. I bind any spirit that is coming in attack against me and my family. I plead the blood of Jesus over my family, over my children, over my land, over my community. I plead the blood of Jesus over every virus, including the coronavirus, influenza. I bind every spirit that is against the Most High God in the name of Yahusha HaMashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Be encouraged. It is time for us to stand up and make the change that we are here to do, my brothers and sisters. Be not conformed to the patterns of this world, but, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. We either believe or we don't. But without faith, it is impossible to please Yahuwah. It is impossible to please the Father if we don't have faith. We say we have faith, but it works deny him. That's not going to work, y'all. The enemy has already been defeated. We were given our power and authority back. And it's all in love. Love. Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not easily angered. It is not puffed up. It doesn't parade itself around. It's not self-seeking. It does not rejoice. It doesn't delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. Love always hopes. Love always perseveres. Love never fails. I just want to encourage y'all real quick. You know what I'm saying? I was going to wait for the sun to come up, but he woke me up. So I'm going to blow him up. Okay? I love y'all. I'll holler back at y'all. Be blessed in the name of Jesus.